Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our work. In the last video, we have seen how we can validate user email if, if he is already a registered user. So, and uh, we have done a mistake, we, which is actually here num underscore rows. So, if it is greater than zero, means the user is already registered, and we will return one. And I'm going to call this function in our user account if dollar this arrow email accessed pass the email dollar email we already have in parameter i will return a string like uh, email already uh, exist so this is a string i will return if it is a registered user otherwise i will say i will insert the record of that user here and uh, i will write the query insert into table name is user in the last video we have created table and uh, values sorry but uh, maybe there may be chance i can do some wrong things with the columns so this is a user table and uh, this is a structure and uh, this is a sql query use uh, insert query copy and test here move this right and uh, use so here uh, i will take it down value so first id we don't require id because it is auto incremented so it is generated by our database so username we required but this is a, a prepared statement so i cannot put uh, directly variables uh, i will take question marks instead of writing variables write question mark question mark. so it is total seven variables we required so now i'm going to bind the parameter with the sql query dollar pre statement arrow bind param and uh, there are seven uh, seven variables and all are string type so s1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right and the variables are dollar user name dollar email email and dollar password dollar user type and dollar register uh, instead of date register right date this yeah, because the first registration and last login will be the same and dollar notes we haven't created notes variable and date so for, i will create those variables so first date dollar date equals to you can use the php function date and you can specify that format so i have given date type instead of date and time that's why i'm writing here dm20 and you can also give uh, in a data type like uh, date time so for that you have to specify the format hour minute and second but uh, i haven't given this type so i will just take the date and the notes notes equals to embedded string it's fine right and uh, i will execute the query dollar pre statement arrow execute and or bind param sorry sorry sorry, sorry. it's not bind param so if this query will execute and if there is something wrong in the sql query like uh, column name mistakes or sql query mistake so this die function will tell us what's the wrong thing Error, right and i will store the result into a variable called result if dollar result is fine or okay then i will say return dollar this arrow connection arrow insert underscore id so this connection insert id else i will say return like if there there might be there there may be no chance of error but i will say some error because the we don't know what's the error so this is the correct and let's execute this code for that i'm going to create a object user equals to new 
user size user and so ob user object is created and constructor is also executed means database you know variable connection is specified now call, call the user arrow and uh, call the function uh, create user account the parameters are so this is the parameters we required here the username will say swan and email swan at the rate cmail.com password ah we, we forgot to hash the password okay we will do it now password is one two three four five six user type admin and to use hash function so here is a password right a dollar password underscore hash uh, pass underscore hash equals to password underscore hash and uh, the password will be dollar password comma constant required password underscore b crypt password b crypt this is the actual algorithm and uh, this algorithm will hash our password and the cost required cost Uh, not more than eight within eight or ten and I have given a description about this hash function in my uh, PHP security uh, playlist so if you do if you want to know more about this hash function what is and pa what is password big rip, you can watch the playlist okay password hash is ready and I will say it or copy and insert here so Now let's check it and uh, so it's uh, includes user.php okay we haven't uh, we haven't get anything right because we have not echo this one but uh, i'm sure the account is created let's check it you can see the user id is one and username is one email password is hash type password is in inserted and user type is admin registered date is given login and notes is blank right but if we execute the same code again so we'll get email already exist right so this is working very well and uh, let's uh, do one thing here i can do like a sql no not sorry not SQL, structure and you can make it uh, email unique right so this is database uh, constant which makes all the tuples unique uh, with the help of email address the uniqueness of email address now let's create one more account this part instead of this one let's say test and uh, one one this is a user id two you can get it here two and okay and browse so the second test is inserted same password admin now for this video this is enough now we will continue in the next part thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe